Hi everyone, Cherie here. Today I'm going to be creating a traveler's notebook spread using this fun new digital kit by Kelly Bangs Creative and this one's called In My Garden Veggies. So what I've done is I've gone through and selected some of the images that come with the kit. I've opened them up into Photoshop, arranged them onto a page and printed them out and then fussy cut them. So what I did was just selected images that I thought may go with my theme today which is Madison with her little homegrown tomatoes and um, there are so many more images in the kit included so it's really worth checking it out if you do have your own homegrown veggies. Uh, it does include these little um, garden signs uh, or labels. This one says tomatoes but in the kit there are other veggies as well like onions, peas, carrots and a few more as well that I can't quite remember but this really is a fun, cute little kit to use for your garden photos. So I've got the little seed packet there, uh, some flowers. Now this one is a pepper or a capsicum as we call them in Australia, but I think it kind of looks like a, a cut tomato as well. So I'm just going to use them as those. Um, okay, I did also select the letters from the alphabet that comes with the kit to create my title. Again, I just opened up the letters into Photoshop and arranged them on the page. And I've printed them out twice because I'm thinking I'll use it down one side of one of my pages. And I've done it twice because I'm not sure yet if I want it on the left or on the right. So I've got some options there. I also went ahead and selected three of my favorite pattern papers from the kit. And again, I opened the bubble into Photoshop and just arrange them onto an A4 piece of paper to print out. So that just saves on paper and on ink as well. All right, so I've got my journaling ready to go, my photos. So I'll get started and show you what I've got planned for this spread today. Okay, so I've decided that I wanted to put that title down the left-hand side of that first page of this spread. And the right hand page is a solid piece of that green patterned paper. And I decided just to uh, bring that green uh, over onto the left hand page. So I've added a strip there. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add some stitching to both pages. So I've got just one line of stitching down that green strip. And I'm also adding a line of stitching through the title as well, just to add a little bit of texture there. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a border all the way around this right hand piece of pattern paper. I love this green spotty paper. It's really pretty color. All right, so that's now done and I can go ahead and trim those threads. So on the title, I'm bringing the threads through to the front of the page and then I'll just trim those off. And the other one I'm just trimming off as well. But this right hand page, I've brought the threads back to the back of the paper tied a knot and trim them off there. So now I can go ahead and start placing my photos onto the spread. I've got two photos on that left page and the larger photo on the right. So I'm just using my tape runner to adhere those to the page. I'm quite happy with the placement of those. Just trying to get those nicely centered. And now my other photo can go on as well and I'm trying to position it a little bit further up the page to leave a bit of room for some journaling strips underneath. So again just trying to make sure it's fairly centered and now I can play around with these fun little pictures. So this is my favorite one I think the little basket of seedlings. I'm just going to pop that right at the bottom of the photo there and now I'm just going to build up some layers around that. So I've got the little stack of two pots or I think they're called cartons in the file. Um, so I'm putting those just tucked in behind the basket. I've got that shovel to go on the right hand side and again I'm tucking it under the right hand side of that little basket. So I'm really trying to build up some layers in this little cluster of embellishments. So I've just used double sided tape behind those. Now I've got my little seed packet and I'm popping this one up off the page adding a little bit of dimension with a foam square there. And now I've got my peppers. Well, they are peppers, but I'm using them as tomatoes. And I'm using some foam behind those too for, for some added dimension and just to really add to that layering effect. Now, when I printed those ones out, I did the same image in a couple of different sizes. So I just resized the image in Photoshop 
before arranging them on a page to print out. And I also did the same with that little tomatoes label that was larger in the file. So I just reduced that in size to print it out to use on my page. I've also got that little fresh picked flag, which I'm tucking in at the top left there. Again, I'm using some foam tape behind the flag, but the actual flagpole is just got um, some double sided tape on that just so that it can tuck in behind those little pots. Okay, so my embellishments are all in place now. And then I can go ahead and add my journaling strips. So I've got four journaling strips to add. So I know that I wanted some down the bottom there and I thought about putting the other two at the top of that page, but then decided that there was a gap underneath the title. So I've put two of the strips underneath the title there. So just sticking those down now, I've got really thin double-sided tape behind those ones. So I'll stick them down into place on either side of the G that's poking down there. I was quite happy how nicely they fit in that spot. And now these other two strips, I'm just going to position underneath my embellishment cluster. And then all I need to do is add the date to this spread and it's done. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I've used the elements from this uh, cute In My Garden Veggies digital kit from Kelly Banks Creative. I'll pop a link down below so that you can check it out for yourself. And uh, let me know if you've got any questions as well and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for joining me again today and I'll be back again really soon with more to share. Bye for now.